Creating Prince to Maze Q was kind of interesting because I took a first pass at it and sent it to William, uh, who got back to me and informed me that I had actually completely missed the mark. He really wanted something more malevolent and kind of felt like Prince Tomei was somewhat of a peacock uh, as far as his personality. That description really clicked for me and I was able to uh, just really get inside the mind of Prince Tomei. I began with the horn section, which holds the melody. Prince Tomei does a lot of particularly nasty things, but one of the earlier scenes where you really find out about his true colors is when he has taken uh, lead pyre from Micah and actually offers the gun back to him, but it's to kill one of the prisoners that Micah and Morath have been getting to know. And this sort of forced murder that he enjoys uh, is very disturbing, to say the least. So, on its own, it definitely portrays the pompousness of Prince Dumais, but underneath that, I wanted to add some more of the malevolent, driving ambition that he has. For that, I went to the low strings, the cello and the double bass, to keep a constant 16th note pattern that really pushes the piece along. Also one of the things that appeals to me about the villainy of Dume's character is just um, some of the descriptions. Dume's voice clung low to the ground like a sluggish morning fog. Tell my brother you do not love him. He whispered in her ear, his tongue dangerously close. You are not going to marry him. I won't allow it. Smacking his lips and lolling his tongue, he's this man with so much power and bad manners <laughs> makes him uh, really, really a, a scary man to be in the presence of. Now that we have the low strings implemented, it creates this kind of motor rhythm that uh, adds movement to the otherwise stagnant horn melody. In between the two, I added the percussion section, which falls in line more with the traditional march feel, a happy medium between the horns and the low strings. Writers and actors will, you know, get inside the character they're playing and become that person uh, wholeheartedly. And I found myself doing that for Prince Demay. I just had to kind of think of Prince Demay and his priorities uh, and, and selfishness over everything else. To me, the Prince Demay theme is really something he would have commissioned for himself. Absolutely, he would have uh, somebody write him a song to march about town and uh, be evil with, really, even though he doesn't consider himself evil. Now that we have that going, we have something more of a complete cue. However, it's a little heavy on the low end right now. It doesn't really do much to stand out, like I think Prince Demay probably would want to. For that, I went to the high end of the orchestra, the piccolo and the violin section. Along with the snare drum, it sounds like this. There's a scene later on in the book where Prince Demay is kind of spending a quiet moment uh, with one of his friends, really connecting with him emotionally. In a way, I feel like this almost makes him more scary because you start to see how human he really is. Adding in a 3-4 measure in the middle of the cue to throw off the rhythm, we create what I feel is a very malevolent and imposing march for one of the main villains, Prince Demain. <laughs>
this is Fire on the Mound. Do you have any closing thoughts? Can I say some other things about tonight? You may. <laughs>